you guys Marketplace. Marketplace is basically our app store on Windows Phone 7. Um, if you look at Marketplace, uh, what we have done is to is, is, is a very strong emphasis on discoverability. We want to ensure that applications are very easily discoverable. Um, you could also see it from the screen. <laughs> uh, applications are very discoverable. You notice that right now, what we have done was to choose Bejewel Live of discovering applications. All these are to make sure that applications are very easily discovered. Yeah. So with Marketplace, you would be able to download applications. And what I want to do is to go through a series of demos of some of the applications that are already currently on Marketplace. So this one is an app that um, Singtel was talking about. It's called um, Explorer. Explorer is a location-based app that, that, that has a lot of uh, local point of interest uh, around us uh, so that you will be able to know where things are. It also has traffic information. So those red lines are basically, you know, uh, areas of heavy traffic. So what I wanted to do is to look at um, the, the things that are around us and I could select uh, touristy spots. I haven't been here for a while, so uh, it's interesting to know that there are actually interesting places around here to see. One of which is uh, the Singapore City Gallery, right? So what I can do is to use this app to find locations of how to get to this place. Yep. I will find an approximation of where we are because you know GPS doesn't work quite well here, but we have uh, cell ID information. Once we do that, we can say go, Right, it will calculate the routes and we'll have turn by turn navigation that allow us to, to know exactly how to get there. So this is the turn by turn navigation. So if you click on this, it will tell you exactly how to get to that place. Huh? So I uh, want to show you the next app, uh, SYN MSN. This is, this is an app that only exists on Windows Phone 7 platform today. SYN MSN is our news portal. So you can see the latest news, you know the latest about the, the Chilean um, miners being rescued right and many of these are actually a uh, video that you can uh, view from the portal through your phone uh, using smooth streaming right so this is smooth streaming in action yeah since in MSN, right okay show you another local app that is developed uh, by, a, by a developer in singapore this is one of the first few apps that are published on marketplace this is my, my favorite app because that's how I get here today. I take the public transport. So this is where uh, the, the bus stop went near where I live. If I click on this, it will tell me the arrival times of the buses. So it helps me to decide whether I should take 100 or 107. So it's a very nifty app, right? Uh, it tells you very a lot of information, including whether there is traffic jam, slow traffic, etc. Yeah. Uh, it's called bus time and it has a lot of other features about looking for um, uh, different bus stops that are available uh, uh, in, 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 in the vicinity. The last bit I want to show you is basically Xbox Live. You, you have heard a lot about Xbox Live. You can see the collection of games that are available, uh, whether you have requests for games. With Xbox Live, we are able to actually have games um, that are residing on Xbox, you playing the, uh, on, on an Xbox console with another person on uh, on, on the phone and what I want to do is to showcase a particular application that's found in Xbox Live right this is done by a local developer it has been it is working together with uh, Microsoft Game Studio right in order to publish the application for, for her uh, this this uh, company is called Proto J Productions and the application is called Armor Valley right you notice that um, it's a, it, it is a very popular game on Xbox Live, uh, the, the indie group, and, and once you load it, I'll have to hold the phone and play with it, so it's a bit, a bit difficult, but uh, uh, it shows the extent of what our development platform could do right now. Like. With XNA, you could do very serious uh, three-dimensional stuff, three-dimensional game for example, you can use multi-touch to control a, a plane flying through a, a 3D landscape. Yep. So that's the end of my demonstration. Uh, I hope you like it and if you have any questions, 